The scenes glimpsed in locomotive depots across the network were worlds away from the glamour often associated with steam. These were filthy, gruelling and at times downright dangerous working environments. The LMS particularly considered the smooth operation of its locomotive depot essential for efficient railway service and they filmed extensively around various locations in the northwest, including Stoke in 1939. These everyday scenes stand in sharp contrast to the run-down depots of the closing years of steam. As soon as the locomotive entered the depot, turning commenced. Precise balancing and positioning on the turntable were vital. Once in place, the handbrake was applied and, remarkably, atmospheric pressure via a vacuum motor was used to rotate the locomotive. The fireman would attach the flexible hose to the locomotive's vacuum brake pipe, unlock the table and the driver would engage the vacuum ejector. Within about 90 seconds, the loco would be turned precisely for its next movement. Take for instance, the unique rebuilt high-pressure locomotive British Legion, formerly named Fury. Essentially a Royal Scott class, it stood out as the only example featuring a tapered boiler. What makes these vacuum-operated turntables fascinating is how they repurposed locomotive systems using vacuum power from the brakes and the elegantly balanced mechanics that made heavy turning feel effortless. Many heritage railways in Britain preserve turntables, some still vacuum powered, some converted. So enthusiasts today can witness this clever engineering in action. If you find the hidden ingenuity of steam era depot life as captivating as we do, please like this video, share it with fellow railway lovers, and subscribe for more deep dives into the unsung mechanics of the rails. Thanks for watching.